in studying African history in particular that we it's always repeated in the history of Islam concerning Islam being a part of the history of Africa. So due to this, then for myself, I kind of took the, uh, the responsibility upon myself to understand or to hear more about Islam. Because certain names keep re uh, repeating the word Islam and also Muhammad. So I want to know exactly what was you know, exactly these two things, Muhammad and Islam. Free information on Islam. Discover the truth about Islam and all the prophets. Moses, Muhammad, Jesus, Noah. Hussein was raised as a Roman Catholic and turned to Islam when his cousin converted. When I read the Bible, I found that actually uh, there was a lot of similarities between Islam and Christianity. And when I actually started analysing the way of life of my cousin and the Bible, I realised that my cousin was practising uh, a lot of the stuff that's in the Bible. And my mum, who, uh, who was a Christian, has left a lot of, of stuff. So basically I used to look at my cousin and I used to see that he used to fall down in his face and pray. And in the prophets, all of the prophets, they used to fall down on their face and pray. Also he used to grow his beard, he dressed like the prophets. Mary dressed like um, the Muslim women, they dressed like how Mary dressed. Eventually then I went to apply to uh, Saudi Arabia in uh, Medina, the city of Medina. They have a university there that. Uh, my family, uh, they were understandable. They understand that uh, or they gave support that if this is the uh, decision that I have chosen, and I believe this is right for myself, then they, uh, they had no objections. And to date, no objections. Abdul Haq has written a book on early Christianity. When we start to assess the, some of the historical basis of uh, the, the uh, of early Christianity, we can see some very um, profound comparisons between um, how the early followers of Jesus uh, practiced uh, their faith and also Muslims today. There are obviously some you know, concepts in uh, contemporary Christianity and the established sort of doctrines now, which are, you could say uh, do um, owe more to Roman um, mythology and paganism, as opposed to you know whether were these really the actual teachings of uh, of, of, of of the uh, prophets, the, pro the prophets from the, the children of Israel, for example, were these their teachings? We can f we find that um, that when we actually look into it deeper, they were not actually the t 